taking a while. There it is. We'll see how this goes. Good morning. Rise to arms. Well, I wonder if you, if anybody takes that seriously. Hmm. With prayer, employ you. Are they going to battle? We're going to sing that. It's number, hymn number 668, which is three verses. Um, well, talk about it. <laughs> this, is, this is one of those mornings where, oh, here we are again. <laughs> this is, some days I just feel like it's getting old, and yet it's a blessing to be with you in God's Word. Every day is its own, right? Absolutely. 668. Let's try this. I think this is part of what Pastor Rosso is talking about. The delight <laughs> in how the Lord protects us and the joy we can use when we sing. Yeah, I suppose there's, there's some really And the words prayer. still sink in. We'll let him tell us about that. Even when we miss them. <laughs> oh, that really was that word, you know, and then it's still there. <laughs> So this is a story about rising to arms and fighting a battle unarmed. Gideon defeats Midian. So. Uh, chapter 7 at verse 19. Judges 7, 19. Judges 7, verse 19. So <clears throat> Gideon and the hundred men who were with him came to the outskirts of the camp at the beginning of the middle watch when they had just set the watch and they blew the trumpets and smashed the jars that were in their hands. 
Then the three companies blew the trumpets and broke the jars. They held in their left hands the torches and in their right hands the trumpets to blow. And they cried out, A sword for the Lord and for Gideon. Every man stood in his place around the camp and all the army ran. They cried out and fled. When they blew the 300 trumpets, the Lord set every man's sword against his comrade and against all the army. And the army fled as far as Beth Shittah toward Zerera, as far as the border of Abel Mahola by Tabat. And the men of Israel were called out from Naphtali and from Asher and from all Manasseh, and they pursued after Midian. Gideon sent messengers throughout all the hill country of Ephraim, saying, Come down against the Midianites and capture the waters against them as far as Beth Barah and also the Jordan. So all the men of Ephraim were called out, and they captured the waters as far as Beth Barah and also the Jordan. And they captured the two princes of Midian, Oreb and Zeb. They killed Oreb at the rock of Oreb. And Zeb they killed at the winepress of Zeb. Then they pursued Midian, and they brought the heads of Oreb and Zeb to Gideon across the Jordan. So the, the uh, most important point, I think, that we make in Sunday school is that the that Gideon and his army is reduced to this 300 men, 300 men against, uh, what did they say, uh, 100,000 or something, some very, very large swarm of Midianites. And they're victorious. And not only is it just 300 men, but uh, it's 300 men with no weapons, or at least they don't employ any weapons in this, uh, in, in the, the route they smash jars, they wave torches, and they blow trumpets. And there's a panic in the camp, and the men start killing each other in the dark and running around and scattering. And so and so probably not that many Midianites died at this point, but then, they, then they're running. And now they are in little groups of, of soldiers, uh, in singles and squads and so on. And so when now when the army of Israel is mustered, yeah, in a big fat hurry. The, the Midianites are scattered and they're not in a big formation where they can protect themselves and, and, uh, and attack and overwhelm a small village or, or go from place to place um, taking things. Now they're all scattered about. And so the, the men of Israel can defeat them. So we compare that to ourselves and it's a little hard to do because we don't, we honestly don't think in terms of battle in our lives. You know, we, we think of being oppressed by things, cancer, uh, um, culture, uh, you know, that um, work, uh, weariness, depression, um, fear, the things that come into our lives. We say, oh, it's this detail or that detail. And yet maybe that's, that's not unlike what was happening. The Midianites were were not a big nation <clears throat> with uh, with one king and you know cities and all that. They were they were nomads. They were uh, Bedouin. They were uh, tribes of people who all gathered together to go get stuff from from the Israelites. So, in the same way. The things that overwhelm you are a little of this and a little of that and some of the other thing and, and they pour into your life like a, like this swarm of Midianites. And there's too many for you. They're all together, uh, overwhelming you. And yet, what are you called to do? Not, not to have, not to defeat them with overwhelming force. Not to be, Stronger. I'm going to be stronger and I'll overcome all these problems. What are we called to do? Like Gideon, to turn to those things that don't seem so strong. Rise, two arms. But what's the next phrase? With prayer, employ you. That's, that's what our arms are. 
our, our weapons. Uh, uh, Satan has designed your fall. Wield God's word, the weapon glorious against all foes. Be thus victorious. And yet, you know, we know, we believe, we've been told this is what the solution is for us. We don't do it. We say, what I need, I need to go shopping. I need some new clothes. Uh, I need to lose some weight. Uh, I need an exercise program. All those things may be good things, right? Um, I need to, whatever your solution might be, I need to be stronger somehow. I need to tough it out. Uh, I need to take some Excedrin and then just keep going. God says, how about you, uh, how about you lay down your weapons for a moment here? Uh, you can pick them up again later. The Israelites do when they have the Midianites on the run. How about you lay down your weapons and pray? How about you, you know, do something dumb like smashing a jar, waving a torch, and uh, and shouting, you know, blowing a trumpet and shouting for the Lord and for Gideon. <laughs> How could that work? How could prayer work? How could God's word work? Well, and yet, we've been here every day, and I hope not for just the 15 minutes in the morning that we're together, but but that the word we read would last you through the day. You spend some time thinking about it. We get overwhelmed, too. One thing after another, and some of them are blessings. And, and yet there's, there's this demand on time and attention, and you just get so worn out. And Here's the answer. Be weak. Be weak with the Lord. Let the Lord fight for you. And, and go to him with the weapons he gives to you. And then, then they, uh, when the enemies are running away, well, then they do chase them with their swords and spears and, and there's battle. But it's a, uh, it's a cleanup operation. It's a battle, uh, of the victorious. What a good feeling that will be for you when, when you, Pray, and all of a sudden the enemy doesn't seem so overwhelming. All of a sudden it's, oh, it's only one of those. It's two of these. It's a little of that. And, uh, and I'm going to take care of this. And I, I'm, God gives me strength to deal with that now. Now that it's not all one thing together. Satan's attack. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, all the people who are watching today, us also, we're Lord, you know how quickly we are overwhelmed. Satan swoops in like these like these tribes of Midianites, and he seems to, to steal away our joy, our victory, our sense of control in our life. Uh, he, he afflicts us with discouragement. Uh, we are overwhelmed. Lord, even those enemies that seem so powerful, grief, and fear. You are able to scatter them and then to give us strength to pursue them. Lord, I pray that you would bless all of us gathered around your word today. Bless us by your word that we would, like Gideon, see that in our weakness, you have given us strength in your word and in prayer. Grant that we would go where you call us to find salvation. In our, in our Savior, who was weak, made himself less, so that we could be made great. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace.